Thank you, Steph. Well, you're probably used to making reservations for restaurants or travel, but some Rhode Islanders will soon be required to make a reservation to do business at the DMV. It's all part of the agency's long overdue computer upgrade. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke joins us now with the new details. Shannon, the reservation system was launched this morning, and by this afternoon, there were already about 300 made. The temporary required appointments are intended to limit the number of customers to a manageable amount as staff learns the brand new computer system. Customers making one last final push to get business taken care of before the DMV goes offline for two days. All offices will be closed next Monday and Tuesday, then limited offices will reopen by reservation only from July 5th to July 17th. Paul Grimaldi with the DMV says during that time, anywhere from 400 to 700 reservations will be available per day, and that number should grow. We'll be adding reservations um, as the volume allows us to, if things are moving faster, the system's coming up faster, we'll expand that. Welcome news to customers who waited two to three hours to be helped today. No place to sit, hungry, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Many came prepared for a wait and tried to come early to beat the crowd. Because if I didn't, I'd be waiting a lot longer. We know that they've put up with a lot in the last few weeks. They're waiting a lot longer to get service because basically what we did was take two and a half months of business and try to do it in one month. Customers seem to keep a good attitude and employees did their best to manage the demand. Very nice and they were going as quick as they possibly could. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. By the end of the summer, they're going to start to see those times start to drop off. And Grimaldi says people who make reservations should think of it like making a doctor's appointment, not a dinner reservation, and that there will still be a wait. But coming hours early won't be necessary or help. But if you show up more than 15 minutes late, your reservation could be given away. Coming up tonight at 6, the latest on what happens if your license is set to expire during this time and whether or not you'll be able to drive or travel without a problem. Abby Burke, Eyewitness News. The latest developments now as the Rhode Island DMV gets ready to finally launch its long delayed computer upgrade in just over a week. The state has warned that process is going to be quote bumpy and anyone who needs to get a license renewed in person during the first half of July will need a reservation. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke explains what the recourse is for people who can't get to the DMV. Steve, all DMV offices will be closed next Monday and Tuesday, and then starting Wednesday, reservations will be required for a limited time, a process the DMV has put into place to allow for learning the new system and a buffer in case something goes wrong. But what happens if your license expires and you can't get an appointment? Well, the DMV has thought about that too. The DMV causing more headaches than usual the past month as the agency prepares to launch a brand new computer system. We understand that those times have been a lot longer in June, um, but we do want to tell people that there's a light at the end of the tum tunnel. From July 5th to July 17th, customers looking to go to the DMV will be required to have a reservation. So the reason that we did this is, is in order to manage the customer flow as we bring up the new system. But what if you can't get in? We know that there will be people on the road in the coming weeks who may not have been able to make a reservation. They may work. If they have an, exp uh, an expired license, it's not their fault. Grimaldi says the TSA has been notified about the issue. They have agreed to honor um, expired licenses for a short period of time. They are recommending that people still bring a second form of ID, but they are uh, transmitting that to their whole network across the country. So you shouldn't have problems at the airport. They've also drafted legislation that would allow an extension on expired licenses and registrations for up to 90 days. This way, um, all the police in Rhode Island, actually throughout the country, will know it's a valid ID. That legislation known as the grace period legislation is being acted on in the House tonight, the Senate tomorrow, and with any luck should be on the governor's desk for signature on Wednesday. Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.